It's a bit loud here. I've just got to move out. Sorry, who, no who is that, please? CBD, that's the Central, Bist uh, Central Business District, CBD? No, no. C CBD, sorry, Donald, CBD, so it's actually, um, we're community-based programs in the Power Health area, getting in contact with local homeowners here, sir, now, actually, just to make you aware, that the government rebate towards solar is coming to an end in the next couple of weeks. I sorry, you, uh, you, have, you have to slow down a bit because I'm a, not I'm a bit deaf oh, here. Uh, can I ask you one thing? Yeah. You are you Irish? I am. Yeah, I'm Northern Irish. How, how how many St. Patrick's jokes did you hear lately? Oh, um, like so many, but you have another one. Uh, otherwise, what? I don't know any, sorry. Oh. How, how, how did you find me? How did you find me? Huh? How did I find you? Um, so I found you at the end of a rainbow, like a little leprechaun. <laughs> but had, I mean, seriously, uh, I, I didn't catch the bit about where you're from. You're from something to do with solar? Yeah, yeah. Solar? I know I don't rent, I own. <laughs> excellent. Okay, John, so the reason why we're filming. Do you know what I say instead of excellent? You want to? Uh, do you know how you said excellent? Do you know what I say as a pun to excellent? Oh, really? Egg salad. I say oh, egg God. salad. I say egg, it's not really a joke, it's just one of those puns. You know, like uh, someone is, you know, are you familiar with the Black Adder? With the what? The Black Adder, Rowan Atkinson, uh, miss, you know, he plays the Black Adder. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they had the, the motif, you know, the when he was getting married, they have the, or, uh, the fruit motif, like, I hope she will be the apple of your eye. Uh, I can't remember the other ones, but the last one was like, even though it was an orange marriage. An orange marriage instead of an orange marriage? Yeah. Oh, Edmund. <laughs> but did you ask for working homeowners? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're just actually getting contact with the homeowners. But does it have to be working homeowners? Because at the moment, I, I lost my job back in August and I'm finding it hard uh, to find a job. Unfortunately, it's my own fault because what I was doing at work that I lost my job. Um, I, uh, they walked in and I shit myself while I was masturbating. No, I, I, I was masturbating and then I was shit myself with, like, I had the runs and they, I, I couldn't hide it. And they walked, because I'm a home designer. An architect oh, and a draftsman. But now everyone yeah. knows about it. The whole industry knows that it's in my, you know, I, I've got no references or referees. So I, because I shoot myself masturbating at work. If you shoot yourself masturbating at work, it does happen. But I mean, I'm sure that, like, they'll forget about it over a period of time. And hopefully you can get back on the market then. Why don't you think of something else? Yeah, but you think about it like they're going to. I was working at that place for 11 years. And uh, if anyone, if anyone calls them, they remember me because that's my referees. I have, they're the two people who own the business, and they, but everyone, they, they know that I shoot myself masturbating at work. They saw it. I, I had to go home and shower, but the bloody seat, the bloody seat I was sitting on, it, it, yeah, it was the phone seat, and it was just absorbed my diarrhea and my jeans, because I wear, I wear real casual at work, because it's a factory as well, and uh, we wear jeans, but my jeans are all grey, all down the back. I couldn't, I tried to go in the toilet and cover it up by washing them and trying to put it in that, you know, to dry, dry them and stuff, but it just couldn't hide it. They said, I mean, they basically, the, 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 I was told, you know, because I, sh I shoot myself masturbating at work, 
And they basically said, we don't want to talk about it, just, you know, just fuck off now, you know? <laughs> That's what they told me. I really, it's my fault, isn't it? Huh? Yeah, but I mean, I'd give you a second chance, John. I mean, you know, it happened. <laughs> it happens. It, apparently, I'm a... Uh, I didn't intend to... It, I don't, I, I, I don't intend to, um... I, I, when I, I mean, I, I got divorced because of this, because I shit myself at work years ago. And I never, not masturbating, but what happened is, and then I, uh, I called my wife, I was married at the time. And I'm telling her, just get me some fucking undies rating for me. No, that's all I want, you fucking, I do everything for you, you can't have a, but she pissed off, because when I got back, all her friends were here. And I said, I fucking shit myself, I need to go in the shower. This is true. I'm not making this up. And because I was pissed off with her and I wanted all her friends to know that her husband shits himself at work as revenge. This is the first time I've ever shit myself at work. That was probably, oh, I mean, we've been uh, separated six years, but that was probably eight years ago. Uh... But lucky the bosses weren't there and I drove home and I quickly changed and I managed to get back because it's only 15 minutes drive to come here and then 15 minutes back and oh, but it was just you know the look on her face and how that you can imagine how the anger is priceless for me it was it wasn't really funny it was more of a revenge because she did not want to help me. She was more concerned with her visitors and showing up. She was cooking, you know, they were doing stuff, you know, ladies' things and cooking, swapping recipes or whatnot. And I come, you can imagine, sudden I call her and she hung up on me. And then when I just drove home and then I announced myself like I'm a, you know, how they announced the king in the, or whatever. And everyone, you know, there's a, I'm a very rebunction, you know, very loud coming, I fucking shit myself, I need to go in the shower, where's my undies? You can't even have some undies waiting for me, you know? It's not, it's only a small request. You go to the bloody, the tall boy in the top drawer, top left drawer, my undies. Could have had him waiting in the bathroom for me. I shower myself, I had to get different jeans. But uh, I have a supply, you know, I have a, you know, jeans for different occasions. But have you ever heard, honestly, anyone who has ever, but the last time was in, in back in August last year, have you ever heard of anyone sh shitting themselves while masturbating? Yes. Something about solar, sorry. Solo? Am I electrical? Yeah, yeah. Every three oh, here's the thing. I pay. Uh, what I do is every week I pay all my bills up front. What I mean is I don't pay the whole lot. Every week I pay. Uh, for instance, like my uh, phone. Some of my bills are in credit because I pay a certain amount. And I try to average it out. Uh, gas bills, electrical, water. Water's in credit, cause it, what's that? but I stopped paying because I've got so much credit in there, it's going to catch up. Uh, uh, council rates. I own this. Yeah, there's still... Uh, that's, but, uh, I paying because I suffer. I suffer. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't. I really couldn't tell you because everything's done online now, and I don't. I, I just pay every week and hope that I don't have. To, I hope that I'm in credit or at least not having to pay. So I'm not too sure. It's a quarterly. Uh, the weather. I mean the weather. You know that. That uh, you know air conditions running and all that stuff in the. And then in the winter, but what would eat more electricity up? Is it, is it the heater or the, the air conditioner? What? I don't know. 
It's very, it's a technical thing. It's like those guys who work out the footy season. They're rocket scientists. You know, they got to work out who plays who every week before it happens. And that is not just some um, hat pulling a name out of a box. It's wrong. Like a mathematician works that shit out. So I need someone to work that out. I did get a certificate for maths. Uh, What's that? I'm in poverty, yes. In poverty? I am in poverty. I'm living in poverty. Um, I would call myself pretty much at the moment a destitute. Uh, uh, that means that uh, pretty much I can buy, buy, I can have groceries and I can pay the bills. It's risky sometimes, but lately because I'm going into credit, like into credit a bit over it. But what did you say you're growing? What's that? What did you say you're growing? Growing? Yeah. Me here growing. I had not How did you? Did I say I'm growing something? Oh, okay. No, I'm growing in the back here. I got. Uh, you know, I planted some capsicums. They're not coming out, but I put cucumbers in. Uh, it was like a punnet. You know, you get like little seedlings in there. And I distributed them like they said, you know, every 30 centimetres apart. Um, but half of them are coming out as cucumbers and the other half are coming out what looks like to me as rock melon or honey melon. Uh, that is bloody weird. But the plants... What's that? The sound of the gong... See, uh, I've got uh, a condition. It was brought on when I was a small child, and my parents both worked. And my grandmother, she doesn't speak, did or she's dead, but she did uh, rally. You know, she was a big Nazi in the day, German German background. And she rallied for Hitler and all that, but when the Jehovah's Witness came down the street when we were living, we had one of those windows that got like the short wall at the bottom, you know, only about a foot high, and she said they're robbers. And I've seen gangster movies, and the Jehovah's Witnesses in their black suits look like fucking gangsters. And she scared the shit out of me, they're saying they're coming to kill me, and she always got me to lie on the floor. So when any, anyone comes like knocking at my door anymore, I lay on the floor and just look through the smallest gap of the curtain. I never answer. Ever. Right, okay. So John... I went, I, I, they came the other day. The Jehovah's Witnesses came the other day and the same situation happened. And they had umbrellas, goddammit. Not because it's rainy, because it's sunny. Hot. Yeah. There were two old ladies out there, but they looked like... Because uh, she was... My grandmother was a she-wolf of the SS... She used to extract information out of, um, you know, the French partisans that were captured, you know? God. So that, you know, she, I, I remember finding her, she used to still go to church every Sunday wearing her Gestapo gloves, you know? Uh, those leather gloves that she wore. She would tell me, I mean, in her, she never spoke about it, but in her old age getting senile, she was telling me about that and she was telling me about how the Russians were coming in and how she lost everything. Her husband was in the Waffen SS, a volunteer. And the story goes every time, and this is what I tell, this is my dad's mum, not my mum's mum, we joke about it. But she said, every, the dog, she had a dog, a German shepherd. And when that dog went missing was the same time that her husband was um, classified as MIA, missing in action. This is true. And he was in the, on, in the Eastern Front, most guys who were captured... Uh, by the Russians who are in SS uniforms, they would be just shot, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. So a lot of these guys escaped. So I, he's missing in action. He could have been captured, but my theory is that he, if the dog went missing, I reckon he deserted, got the dog, and went to fucking Brazil. You went to Brazil with a dog? Yeah. Because if he lived with my... If, if, if he had to put up with the same shit our whole family had to put up with my grandmother... I don't fucking blame him. Because my grandma was a Nazi to the end. She was a what? 
My grandmother was a Nazi to the end. She's an old fighter. That means that she was rallying for Hitler pre-1933 when it wasn't fashionable to do that. John, that's funny. That's funny. It's crazy. It is. Yeah, well, I don't know. I mean, I don't want to get too much into your family. Oh. Oh, what time is it? Guess what? It's midday. I gotta go. I gotta go. I'm gonna shit myself. I'm going to shit myself. Please. Um, what was your name? Sorry? Emily. Emily, that's right. I remember Emily. It's a lovely name. Um, could you call back again? Because I gotta shit myself. I'm going to shit myself, but I won't masturbate. I won't masturbate. I just need to shit. Okay. I, thank you very much. I enjoyed this. Um, yes, it's different. I, I am full of color, flamboyance, but I, I'm, I, I don't want to shit myself. I won't. I will be shot before I shit. I'd rather be shot than shit. Yeah, shit. I don't want to shit myself. I will shoot myself. It's gone. <laughs>